This question is going to talk about calculating perpetuity values. This question sounds like Dharma Financial is trying to sell you an investment policy that will pay you and your heirs uh, 35000 per year forever. If the required return on this investment is 7%, how much will you pay for the policy? So these kind of questions, when you read through it, is, you must key, uh, note down a few key points. So those that are highlighted there are the key points here. So Dow Financial is trying to sell you an investment policy. This investment policy will pay you and your, and your next generation forever, for eternity. Okay, the keyword says is forever, $35,000 per year. All right, the required return on this investment is 7%. So how much will you pay for this policy? So in other words is, for you to get 35000 forever, every year, even though your next generation will get that, doesn't matter how many generations will it be, how much will you pay for this kind, uh, for this investment policy today? This is what the question means. All right, so let's look at it. What is going on here? So what kind of formula should we use? So first of all, to answer these kind of questions, it's very straightforward. Okay, whenever you see the word forever, okay, eternity, infinity, and so on, very easy. The only formula that you will be using for this kind of question when it sounds like this, or when you use to count perpetuity values, you will only use this formula. Okay, this is the formula. EVA infinity equals to C divided by R, okay, or it's the same thing, just that the formula terms is a bit different. Okay, PVA equals to PMT divided by I. So you use either of one, either one of these formula. So it's the same, it's exactly the same formula, just that with different terms and different equilibriums for it. All right, so in this question, they tell you the timeline is 35,000 per year forever. So they want you to count one. What do they want to count? All right, you will be getting 35,000 per year. So this will be year zero, year one, year two. And beyond. Okay, infinity. So this is your payment. All right, interest rate yield, all right, which is your R or I will be 7%. So, what are you finding now? You are finding here. How much are you paying for this whole policy to get 35,000 per year until eternity? Okay? Alright. So now, if you fill in the figures into the equation, what will you get? PVA is what you need to find. Okay, if you use payment, the payment is 35,000 and the interest rate is 7%. So you'll put 0 0.07. So your PBA will be 500,000. This is the value that you are willing to pay today to get 35,000 in a uh, yearly basis for, the, uh, for in infinity years, for eternity. Okay, very easy, straightforward.